Our third day so, speaker is uh, Simona Scarpaliga. Uh, very pleased to be here, thank you. It has been a very interesting day and I'm humbled about the enormous amount of data and pieces of research that have been shared. Um, now uh, I would like to go uh, a little bit more into the business perspective and see whether everything that has been researched upon and, and uh, so beautifully explained is mirroring somehow at least one reality, which is my reality. I am um, uh, lead IKEA in Switzerland, and I belong to a company that uh, has a very strong company culture. Uh, so the language will be much more bread and butter. We are business-minded and very much uh, um, uh, forward, uh, straightforward in our language. But I think that there is a, a profound and rooted uh, thinking behind uh, our overall set of values in, in the company. Um, let me start with, uh, with a sentence uh, that I found uh, very powerful, and it is, those who have a why to live can bear with almost any how. It's a very powerful sentence from Viktor Frankl that was highlighting the importance of a purpose, the importance of a, a strong uh, meaning in life in order to do great things or at the same time to uh, be resilient to uh, extreme difficulties. Because the why and the purpose, as it has been uh, so well described during the day, it's uh, something that is uh, really rooted in human natures. There are plenty of studies in psychology that uh, uh, show that people who have a meaning, who have a purpose in their lives, uh, have a happier life, a healthier life, and uh, a more resilient life. And this is valid not only for individuals, it is also valid for groups groups, and it's valid for organizations. Hence, the workplace, uh, it's uh, influenced by the purpose that uh, a company has and by the, um, the culture of this company. In fact, people do want to work for a company they believe in, as simple as that. Uh, we all uh, human beings prefer, actually, to um, know that whatever we do, contributes to a bigger picture, that whatever we know benefits not only ourselves, but a larger number of people, or it implements uh, um, something that uh, is bigger than us. Um, what makes people uh, attached and what makes people believe in a company uh, it's in fact the company vision and uh, the set of values that are, um, th that are behind this vision. At IKEA, we have uh, um, a vision that is long-lasting. Uh, we were founded 75 years ago, and uh, we like to say within our organization that this vision is forever, and it is to create a better everyday life for the many people. Um, I find it personally very fascinating because it's a very simple vision, but still uh, compelling. It is uh, uh, very humble to improve uh, the lives, but still um, very ambitious. Uh, so it has created over time a lot of interest and a, lot, a very strong sense of belonging to the, to the company. Uh, the pursuit of this vision is... Um, uh, done through uh, behaviors that express uh, our core values. And we have a, a common set of eight values, uh, to start with togetherness and enthusiasm. We believe in people, we believe that when people come together and work together, things happen and problems are solved, so we put a great deal of attention and value to togetherness. Uh, the second value is caring about, uh, caring for people and the planet. Uh, the planet is basically, if you think about it, the only home, big home humanity has, so we need to care about it. We know that sometimes we are part of the problem, and so we want to be a part of the solution, being actively involved in uh, environmental topics and social topics, uh, so to have, at the end, a positive impact. Cost consciousness is another crucial value. 
Uh, and this has to do uh, with what we define as not cost saving, but cost consciousness. It has to do with um, uh, um, stating whether the cost that we are going to have have a positive impact to our customers, are good for our customers or good for our co-workers. And those who are not uh, good for that, then we try to minimize or even to eliminate. The fourth value is renew and improve. We want to do always things better. And this has to do a lot with the research of um, different ways and of innovation. Simplicity is another uh, key value. Uh, we are down to earth, straightforward, uh, non-hierarchical. We strive to fight the bureaucracy as much as we can. We are not always successful, but for sure we, we work towards this. Um, another value is different with a meaning. Uh, we are different from other companies. We don't necessarily need to be like other companies. We want to um, keep our own identity very strongly, uh, but we also want to, through in unconventional ways, find uh, different solutions. And what has fascinated me when I joined IKEA 18 years ago was this sentence that was said by our founder, it is making mistake is a privilege. And that was my winning thing. I, I just joined the company because of this, because it transmitted a sense of uh, a safe work environment. You, do can, you, you can make mistakes, actually. It uh, gives the possibility to test and try, which is very important today. And uh, it, it has uh, the, the seed for innovation. Seventh value is give and take responsibility. Uh, we believe uh, that uh, trusting in people is so, so important and that when people are empowered and can decide, uh, things go faster. A little bit what you were mentioning with this bigger theme of trust and uh, the Toyota example. Um, so that's very important. And last but not least, uh, the value of leading by example. There's nothing stronger than a, than a good example. So leaders have a responsibility there, and uh, leaders are requested to showcase every day with their behavior uh, the strength and the validity of our values. So this is, in a nutshell, the, what is our company culture about. And if we had here sociologists or um, anthropologists, I can assure you we have all sets of components that describe this, um, this uh, culture, like stories and myths, like rituals, symbols, organizational systems. Just to give you a glimpse of our rituals, we open, um, we have 400 stores nowadays. Every time we open a store in every single country, despite the longitude and the culture of the country, we open the store at 7 o'clock in the morning with all the co-workers. We share a breakfast, which is herrings and vodka. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then instead of cutting a ribbon, we cut a log, actually. So that's a ritual, for instance. Or we... Um, have uh, uh, you know stories about our founders, so maybe I can share it later on for the sake of the time. Uh, but uh, just to tell you that all this, all this strong company culture, has made IKEA thrive over 75 years, and we want to continue nurturing it. Um, I want to continue nurturing it because today I believe that culture is even more important. We are going through an enormous transformation. I mean, almost all debates worldwide are about uh, the digital disruption and uh, all these things. And how do we face it? Uh, we see, or I see personally, because I'm very engaged in this topic, but um, so I'm also campaigning for that within IKEA, I see the workplace transforming into a, what I call the 3D workplace, digital, diverse, and destructed. And we are not equipped yet in the workplace. We are still have hierarchies, still have uh, fixed roles. Uh, we are just implementing the digitalization. So it's quite uh, complex. Uh, but how do we solve this? I believe that we could work with, the, with three pillars. Uh, the first pillar is people come first. 
people uh, will uh, always work and will always be there providing a good experience to any customers in any industry. Machines will be very important to um, uh, replace some repetitive jobs, to uh, improve uh, some existing jobs and uh, even to uh, enhance uh, the potential of, of, of the so-called human capital. So we shouldn't be scared, we should uh, put people at the center and use a sort of partnership with machines with improve and, and creating new jobs. So uh, we will work a lot on employability. We shouldn't be scared about the digitalization. We should say that uh, some jobs will disappear, some jobs will change and some new jobs will pop up. Companies have also the moral um, duty to create the best possible conditions for all co-workers to be employable in this new world. The second pillar is leveraging on the culture that should be more and more inclusive. Um, I think we should really cancel this uh, vocabulary of war for talent and war here, war there. I mean, if we could talk inclusion and peace would be much better in this world because everybody is needed, everybody needs to contribute. The earth needs a lot of help so we all can, can do something and our inclusive culture can help a lot. We will have a workplace that will have a gen three, four, five generations at the same time. How do we bridge that? Uh, women finally will have uh, more space because uh, uh, there is an untapped potential in the world of work that is the, the female potential. So inclusiveness will be crucial. And the third pillar would be a, a pragmatic uh, organizational setup where people will gather on, uh, on a specific uh, project, deliver as fast as possible uh, with the highest possible quality because the people that work there are the most qualified and the most motivated for that job. And then they will disaggregate and, and work on different other projects. It's a lot about culture and leadership in order to make this happen because uh, we need to give a, a, a guiding star and culture can represent that. So to conclude, in times of transformational changes, purpose and values are more important than ever because they help navigating the unknown. They provide a sense of confidence and create a bond among uh, individuals that makes them collectively stronger and uh, more resilient. Thank you. Wow. So I just want to, I am Italian, but I was spot on 15 minutes, right? Like a Swissified. After nine years in Completely Switzerland. Completely Swissified. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think we also learned how to make money. Next time IKEA opens a store, we take options on vodka and yeah. sharing in that place. So I'm going to have that list.